This is Al at Al's Basement Guitar Workshop giving you a quick tutorial on how to set up the Evertune bridge. Uh, there's lots of YouTube videos out there describing what this uh, bridge does. Today I'm just going to be talking about how to set it up um, with a couple of pointers. Uh, first of all, let's talk about what the screws do. Uh, we have intonation screw, saddle height, and tuning screws. These are all 2.5 millimeter hex screws. This is where you're going to be doing your primary tuning. I'll explain that in just a minute. And you have your uh, standard tuners up here. Um, the idea behind the Evertune has been, again, described uh, in many places. So for our purposes today, I'm just trying to do a quick video on, um, maybe explains a little bit better than some, some of the resources I found when I was um, learning this device. <coughs> so, the idea is to uh, utilize the uh, spring system here. This is a variation on the old Fender tremolo system with a few important differences. Each saddle has a spring, so that's very different than the standard Fender that typically has three springs uh, that's shared by all the strings. So this enables us to maintain constant tuning on each string, um, whether you're bending or um, not. So if you're a lead player, you uh, wouldn't really be, you wouldn't have much use for this uh, because when you bend a string on this Evertune bridge, uh, nothing happens. Um, it's, well, I should say it holds the same pitch, starting pitch. <clears throat> so the idea, there are two points on the saddle here that it can travel to. Um, the spring, uh, let's see if I can show you that real quick. See it move some. I have it set up in the in the middle section, but uh, these saddles rock back and forth to two points, one up here and one back there. And the idea is you want the saddle sitting in the middle area, which uh, I believe they call zone two. I would describe it more as a floating zone, uh, using terminology more familiar to most people who play guitar. Um, and if the float, of course, is uh, the spring. So this is basic physics. There's a, a, a fulcrum point inside here that holds the saddles uh, in that in-between zone between the hard stop here and here. Uh, by the way, which either of those points can be used for a traditional bridge uh, if you um, loosen the strings and then tune it uh, in that manner. So the idea here, a couple, a couple pointers here real quick that I didn't find uh, these are, as I said, fine tuning screws. Uh, they're pretty long. If you ever have the opportunity or uh, um, take the, the opportunity to look at these screws, they're longer than most intonation screws if you're used to a fender screw, uh, for instance. So uh, a, lot of, a lot of travel distance here. So what I found best is to um, screw it all the way down tight, but not too tight, just till it touches and then back off a little bit because you're going to be using that screw mostly to go backwards to lower your pitch. I'll explain that in just a second, to lower your pitch um, to the desired pitch. So for instance, this guitar uh, is tuned to drop F sharp. And by the way, we were able to, I was able to do that without any modification to this bridge system. So it can do quite a bit of different kinds of tunings, including as low as drop F sharp. <clears throat> so uh, you go up here after you've got your string on, and you tighten using the um, regular tuning pegs to one half step above where you want the pitch to be. So in this case, for the B string, I tune to G. Then, once I got that, so at that point, this saddle will be in the forward position. Um, and the idea being that you get it back into that, what I call tremolo zone, or floating zone, if you want to call it that, or what they call zone two. That happens as you loosen this, coming from, in my case, the G to the F sharp, you loosen this using the tuning screw, this saddle then goes backwards in motion, and once it goes backwards, it'll be in that middle area. And that's what you want, because that's when uh, it'll, it'll stay to the pitch you tune it to, no matter what you do on the fretboard. Um, so by backing off these screws, it gives you enough, uh, it gives you what you want in that zone, and that's why I set those screws tight down because when you 
when you go to the pitch you want, you will be tuning down to a pitch. Again, different than a traditional guitar. Most guitars and guitar techs prefer to start a pitch below where they want and then kind of use the tuning peg to come up. This is the opposite of that. So feel free to contact me at Al's Basement Guitar Workshop. I'm in Fairfax, Virginia. You can find me on Facebook. Uh, you can find me on uh, Yelp. Or you can message me through YouTube. And uh, enjoy. It's a really nice bridge. Uh, it does everything it's said to. And uh, uh, it's pretty easy to set up. Again, these other screws are, you just have string uh, height position for your bridge saddle. So this is your, your typical saddle screw. Up and down motion for uh, string height. And then your intonation screws work the same as any other bridge. So again, the main difference is that this zone, this zone two as they call it, or as I like to call it, like a tremolo zone or a float zone, where the saddle is floating away from these two endpoints and therefore um, will hold its uh, pitch wherever you set it up to. Uh, one cautionary piece, um, when I was first learning this bridge, it was, uh, I broke several E strings, high E strings. So, um, uh, I resolved that by reducing the tension on that string, backing off the screw a little bit, and starting over again. Uh, by backing off that screw, you do release some of the string tension, and when you're tuning to pitch at an E, so you go to F sharp if you're doing standard tuning, you're up to F sharp, and then using your tuning peg up by the, um, the peg head and the neck, uh, once you get to your F, then you use this tuning screw to back off to E. And at that point, the saddle moves backwards and you're floating between these two endpoints, again, in that tremolo or spring zone. Okay, hope you enjoyed that and uh, happy playing.